Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm basically laughing in my head because this video is going to be like an hour long and I hope you guys are excited because this was definitely one of my most requested collection videos and I'm sure you can guess from the title and the reason you guys all clicked on this video is to see my highlighter collection. So I have a acrylic drawer set and one of the drawers is fully devoted to my highlighters. These are just my single highlighters and there's a few palettes in here. It's a, it's really freaking heavy and I've honestly never sat down and counted like how many highlighters I have, but I'm sure it's an embarrassing amount. I feel like I have just all highlights in here, but I do have some highlighters that are in face palettes. Now, those are not included in this video, so hopefully you guys will have a good idea. I'm also gonna try and declutter some even though it's really hard for me to do because I don't have a ton of makeup. And of course, all the makeup I do have, I did purchase with my own money. So it's a little bit harder for me to give stuff away. But without further blabbering, I'm going to go ahead and hop into my collection. Really quick though, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe because it does help me out. And I always like to do giveaways and stuff, so you want to be subscribed so you can keep up with my videos. Also, I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2017. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but that's okay. But people always say, put out to the universe what you want and it might happen. So I'm gonna do that. So anyway, let's get in to my highlighter collection. So you guys, I don't even really know where to start. There's so many highlighters staring at me. Okay, let's start with some of my favorites from the drugstore. You guys, Milani has some of the most beautiful highlighters I've ever seen. These are so stunning. I have three shades. I have the number one, the number three, and the number four, and I believe they have like 10 of these and they're amazing. I particularly love number three and number four because they work so well with my skin tone. Number four is almost like the color of my skin tone so it just gives me like a sheen. They're beautiful, they work well, the packaging is nice. It's not cheap packaging. I'm gonna show you some highlighters that are affordable but the packaging is so crappy and I feel like Milani has good packaging and good highlighters, which is a total win in my book. So I'm definitely not getting rid of any of these ones. Next one I want to talk about is the Lorac highlighter. This is in the shade Twilight and I will never get rid of this because my husband actually bought me this. He came home with it one day and said like, he just went to Ulta and he wanted to buy me something and I thought it was the sweetest thing. And this highlighter is actually really good. This line that they did, the illuminating highlighters, are so pigmented and so blinding. So if you're in the market for a highlighter, you might wanna check one of these out. Another super affordable highlighter is this. This is Be My Highlight by Essence and I believe this is like under $5. This doesn't look good on me. If you have really light skin, I would totally encourage you to check this out. I put this in my freelance kit because it looks amazing on most of the girls that I do makeup on and they're usually all white. <laughs> so I love to use this on brides, bridesmaids, everyone. I put this on everyone because it's universally flattering for people with lighter skin tones and it's super affordable. It's like literally $4.99 or something at Ulta. So definitely if you're looking for an affordable highlighter, I would totally recommend checking this out because it's awesome. Next highlighter that is also super affordable is this one by Hard Candy. And I've had this one forever. I refuse to get rid of it. This is the shade Heat Wave and it's a dome shape. I think this is a big gelée formula and it's beautiful. It's actually called a bronzer, but on me it's definitely a highlighter and it's uber pigmented and beautiful. Wet n Wild makes some gorgeous highlights and Kathleen Lights raved about this one. This is Bruzy Brunch by Wet n Wild. Again, it's like a $5 drugstore product and you get a ton of product. This is 0.4 ounces, so I mean really, when are you gonna run out of that? This one is super bougie and I really am bummed that I purchased this. This was another Kathleen Lights made me buy it. This is the Laura Mercier highlight in number one and it reminds me so much of this Essence highlighter. They're basically the same color. The Essence one is like literally a thousand times cheaper so I would definitely go with this one because I haven't really seen any benefits from getting the Laura Mercier one. This is pretty much my only Laura Mercier product in my makeup color collection and it's definitely a regret because I don't think it's the best color for my skin tone so I'm really bummed that I own that. 
Two highlights that I never use are these ones by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is King Tut and this is Eclipse, the one that came out with Manny the first time around. I just was in love with these when I first got them, but his formula is so thick. It's a lot. It's a lot of highlight. It's very bam in your face highlight so I just don't gravitate towards it very often there is a ton of product in this it is 15 grams of product which is huge and it is made in the USA so that's really nice but I just never end up using these. This is a limited edition. I don't know if it's sold out but this came out in the summer of 2017. This is Estee Lauder Heat Wave. It is a cult favorite product. I still remember when they announced this launch. It was literally like super random. Luckily I called the Macy store in Fargo and they had it so I had them put one on hold for me and I picked it up and I love this packaging and it's a beautiful golden highlight another one that is a beautiful golden highlight is MAC Cosmetics Oh Darling this is a newer highlighter from them and as you can see there's quite a dent in this it's a really beautiful blinding highlight I love the formula I believe this is a skin finish an extra dimension skin finish it feels like a baked gelée formula to me and a really nice one that also just came out is this one by Maybelline. This is the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter and honestly you guys, this is freaking amazing. It's such a bam highlight and the kicker is that it's like $9 so I don't know what you're waiting for. Another bunch of highlighters that came out for the summer are these Wet n Wild ones. And now this one is an older one. This is the shade Crown of My Canopy. These ones came out last year and then they just launched some newer shades. This one is called Golden Flower Crown. It's a really, really, really beautiful shade and I did have a swatch video on these, I believe, so I'll have to link it up above, but they are super good. I really like the original ones and I love this packaging. It's so sleek and, you know, you still get a decent amount of product. Here's Precious Petals. It was one of the original shades. I have so many of these. This is a newer one. This is Blossom Glow. This is one that came out in the spring, limited edition called Lilac to Reality. So I have a bunch of highlighters. And oh, here's the pink one. This is called the Sweetest Bling. So there is that one. Oh, here's another wild one. This is called Botanic Dream. So got a bunch of those littered in this drawer. Since we're talking about Wet n Wild, let me show you this guy. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. And this is in the shade Catwalk Pink. This is actually really pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I think for five bucks, like, look at the size of this freaking pan. It's huge. And I think the colors are great. Plus, four highlighters because all these stripes are different colors. Or you can mix it together. I think it gives you a really good highlight. So definitely check that out because it's good. Next we have another golden highlight. This is Rodeo Drive by Ofra Cosmetics and I recently got this from Ulta once they started selling Ofra and honestly you guys I was blown freaking away. This is such a BAM highlighter. It's literally, <laughs> if I painted my face with this you guys might think I'm the sun and the earth might start revolving around me. Um, these are super affordable. These were in my first highlighter collection video. These are the Makeup Revolution highlights this one in particular in golden lights got a lot of legwork when we went to san francisco a bunch of us went on a girls trip and it was so good and all my friends were using this so they all ended up buying it and then this one in peach lights i don't really wear very often because i'm really not into the pinky highlights but again these are super affordable so i would totally recommend checking them out Next item, which is pretty new to my collection, is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder, and this is in the shade Gold Digger. Now, this is really a crazy product, because it comes in a sifter, and it looks so pearly, but when you actually swatch it, it turns into a golden highlight. Now, here it is, but honestly, this is so messy. So many people rave about it on YouTube that, of course, I had to have it, but it's so, so messy. I wish I never bought it, and I would honestly caution you, if you're looking for like a powder highlight this is not it this is more like a pigment I would suggest like skipping this because you really don't need it this is the Stila Starlight Star Bright highlighting um, palette this is from holiday last year it's actually really good I ended up getting it on sale from Macy's this shade kitten is wonderful and also the shade bronze 
It is really pretty, so I am glad I picked up this palette, and it was even better because it was on sale, so that made me really happy. Next, you can't really talk about a highlighter collection and not mention the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This was such a hit when it first came out. A lot of people were using it as a dupe for MAC Whisper of Guilt because you couldn't get Whisper of Guilt because it was limited edition. Like, when I started watching YouTube, Whisper of Guilt was just like an urban legend because they were never relaunching it, but they did because I showed it to you guys in my haul holiday palette video. But anyway, this is still one of my favorite highlighters. I don't use it enough, but it is beautiful. Next highlighter is from Jouer Cosmetics. Again, this one was like an Instagram. YouTube made me buy it. Ugh. And this is Citrine by Jouer. I love the packaging. This is a really interesting formula. It's powdery, but it's also like very glowy. I don't know why I'm swatching them because if I start swatching them, it's going to take me forever. But I really like this. I don't use it enough, but I'm so glad to have it in my collection. Next, I still have my Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. I keep thinking that I should put this in like a project pan, but I don't know that I'll get through it in my lifetime. Like it just it seems like so much work to try and use up a whole highlighter palette. You know what I mean? Next I have this Flower Beauty Palette. This is actually really good. This is the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette in the shade SP1, I think. This formula is so yummy. I would totally recommend this. It's like $12 at Walmart. So highly recommend you all checking that out. And no highlighter collection video is complete without a talk about the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. These really started it all for the highlighting game and I have four shades. This is the shade Opal. Again, this does not get enough love in my collection. I think they make such beautiful highlights. I felt like I was gonna buy all of the Becca highlighters but I actually stopped with the four so I'm really glad for that because as you can tell I have a lot of highlighters but if I was gonna recommend one like formula to you that's like 100% foolproof the Becca ones are it. This is the Rose Gold Highlighter. This is currently in my project pan because I can actually see the pan, which is not the case in a lot of my highlighters. So I'm working towards panning this. Hopefully I will get there. Then I have, of course, Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop, another beautiful golden highlight for my skin tone. You guys 100% need to go pick that up if you are a fan of golden highlights. And then this is actually the first one I ever bought. This is Topaz by Becca. It is definitely a darker shade, so if you are of lighter skin tone, I don't know that this is going to work for you, but with my skin tone, it works. And then this one was sold out forever, and I was so pumped when they relaunched it. This is Anastasia So Hollywood. You guys already know it's a beautiful golden highlight, and I'm so glad it's in my collection. So Another highlighter from the drugstore is the Makeup Revolution. This is the Shimmer Brick Radiant. And these are a dupe of basically the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. I don't own any of the Bobbi Brown highlighters, and I honestly don't use this one enough. I think the Makeup Revolution brand highlighters are pretty good, guys. Don't sleep on them. They are actually pretty good. Next is another regret. Like, I don't know why I bought this. Actually, I do know why I bought this, because Tarte had a shipping minimum on their website, and I was like, well, how bad can it be? And this reminds me so much of the... Artist Couture formula. So again, if you have this and you think it's messy, don't buy anything from Artist Couture. It's basically just a jar of glitter and it gets everywhere and it's beautiful and shiny, but you can't like concentrate this on your face. And so trying to apply it on your cheekbones is an absolute nightmare. It might be a great like all over your body kind of highlight. So maybe I'll try and use it for that purpose, but overall, this is a lot of work and I don't have time for it. This is my favorite. This is MAC Cosmetics Whisper of Guilt and then there's a blush in there. This was a holiday collection and I am so glad I bought this. Another fantastic golden highlighting shade for my skin tone so I'm glad I have that. This is the Mariah Carey highlighter. I actually I just bought this like to collect it. As you can see, it's still in the box and I haven't used it, but I just thought it was so beautiful. I'm not like some crazy Mariah Carey fan, but I can appreciate beautiful makeup and then there's Mimi's face in there. So I just think it's beautiful and maybe someday I'll use it, but for right now, it's just gonna sit in its little box and be pretty and I'm just gonna like brag about it to you guys because like, hello, it's a MAC highlighter. like. How many cool points does that get me? 
<laughs> I'm just, I'm kidding guys. I'm really sarcastic. I'm sorry if you don't get my sense of humor. Oh my gosh, I totally lied about a Bobbi Brown <laughs> highlighter. I do have one. This is the problem with having so many highlighters. I forget. This one is gorgeous. This was a holiday one and it's in the shade Bronze Glow. And it's just so beautiful and soft and it's a big gelée formula. I love Bobbi Brown packaging. It's so simplistic. There's something to be said about simple packaging, you know? Sometimes people try to do too much. This is the newest highlight in my collection. This is Mirame by Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors. Oh my gosh, you guys. This freaking highlighter, whew, it's like wet on your face. It's amazing. I love the packaging. I'm so pumped I got this and I'm so happy to support Desi and Katie. Here is one that doesn't get much use from me. I actually ordered this on Amazon. I'm so mad before they started selling Sleek at Ulta. I'm kind of when Jacqueline Hill talked about this palette, I was like, I want it, I want it. And so I freaking bought it. And now, of course, I like never use it. Um, three highlighters from ColourPop. Honestly, this formula is like way too intense for me. But I have Monster, Churro, and Highly Wasted. They're so pigmented and... I personally like powder highlights. It's really hard for me to work with these highlighters and then you have to like use your finger. I'm more of a brush girl so these don't get enough love for me but I will be keeping these in my collection because you never know when you might need to do somebody else's makeup and you might need an intense highlighter. Okay guys, so I was getting ready to end this video when I realized that I hadn't talked about the makeup palettes that I had or some of the other palettes I had. So let me run through these really quick. This is also a newer one to my collection. This is the NARS Board de Plage Highlighting and Bronzing Kit. And I basically bought this whole thing, spent like $60 on this whole thing for this highlighter in Glate. Oh my god, like I don't have enough gold highlighters in the world, but this one, it's so good. I love it so much, and this palette is so pretty, and this mirror, and it's just, it's just, this is actually good NARS. Like when NARS does something right with their palettes, I want to help them out and just like buy it because it's so good. So if you guys see this, and you have my skin tone, and you want a golden highlight, just pick this up. I could literally make out with this palette. It's so good. Next, okay. I have the ColourPop I Like Your Face palette. I actually regret buying this because I don't use it enough. And Kathleen Lights recently talked about it in a favorites video. And I was like, oh my god, I have that palette. Like, I really should use it. But I don't feel too bad because these ColourPop products are so affordable. If you don't use them all the time, you don't feel as guilty because they're not like hundreds of dollars. But... Still, I do wish I used this more. It is a really nice palette. If you're on a budget, I would 100% recommend. Last three things in my highlighter collection are, of course, some of the glow kits. I did pick this one up. This is the Aurora Glow Kit. And I just thought that I wanted to give colorful highlighters a chance. I passed on the Moonchild one because I felt like that was very cool tone but I thought this one was a little bit better for my tan skin and uh, you know I like it I don't use it a, a lot but I think this will be so fun and I think there's a time and place for something like this and that time and place will come and then this palette will rise to the occasion so I'm glad I have something like this in my collection because I do think it's something fun a little bit different and it's always nice to have a little bit of variety in your life because God knows I have enough gold highlighters and of course I have the glow kit in sun dropped this is from my makeup by Mario masterclass goodie bag I wish I used this more but I really don't and I really like the colors in this one this is probably my favorite four pan glow kit it's super beautiful and these are such a good deal they're like 40 bucks and you get four highlighters which I think is an insane price for all that makeup and of course I had to buy the Nicole Guerrero glow kit this one was also a little bit more unique and I did use this a ton when I first got it but of course being a makeup junkie new stuff comes out all the time so I have been distracted from this one but I do really like it and I would recommend it if you guys are looking for a highlighting palette Last one is the latest one also that I picked up, another one from Dose of Colors. This is one of their permanent shades. This is Gold is the New Black. It is 
very nice, very luxurious packaging. It comes with a mirror, so more points for them. And I don't have much to say about this because I haven't really tried it. Now. Okay, guys, that is everything that I have in my highlighter collection. I have a feeling I probably missed a few here and there, but that's okay. You guys get the gist. I have a lot of highlighters. If you have any questions about any of the products I talked about today, definitely leave me a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will list my other collection videos in the cards. Also, I will leave the playlist linked down below if you're interested in checking it out. I did my eyeshadow palette, my blush collection. Did I do makeup brushes? I don't think I did, but let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm definitely like an eyeshadow junkie, so I have the most of that, but yeah, leave me a comment letting me know what you'd like to see next. Have a good day, guys. Bye!